The Howdy Folks Show would not be possible without the support of our patrons. To support future broadcasts, visit patreon.com slash howdyfolks, link in the description. You can also support future broadcasts by liking, commenting, and sharing our content with your friends. They might enjoy it, and they definitely will not think you are weird for watching it. Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese. Welcome to the Howdy Folks Show, broadcasting live from deep in the heart of Texas, where this morning we're back. We're back to the weekly daily streams. I almost... Well, let me explain to you like this. There's a different person than me when I go to bed that takes over my brain. I call him Sleepy Reese. And when the alarm clock goes off and Sleepy Reese wakes up, Sleepy Reese more often than not thinks, we need more sleep. And tries to turn off the alarm and reset it. And in fact, he did. It is currently sitting set and ready for 7 o'clock. Um, but this morning... As Sleepy Reese changed the alarm clock and was trying to go back to bed, this was at about 5.15 this morning, I took over. I said, no, Sleepy Reese. We've got to stream Skyrim. It must be done. We have to get back to this. we got to do the morning streams. Look at this. Creeping to TNT, Gilliam, Michael 5, Adrian. What are they going to do if I'm not up to stream Skyrim? They're just not going to watch me play Skyrim. They're probably going to get on just fine. This isn't a necessity in their lives. But point is... I did a mental battle with Sleepy Reese, and I shoved him into a cage, and I used a, uh, like, uh, what did I use? I used a bungee cord to hold down the lid so he can push up the lid and get a breath. Then he can go, I didn't want to kill Sleepy Reese, right? He's in the garbage can. He's in the back corner of my mind. This has gone too far. This is just a bit. I'm sorry about this. Uh, we're back to play Skyrim this morning, though. Hey, GSNL, how are you doing? Reese, did you see my comment? Which one, Creep? Pretend the one where you went, hey you right at the top of the stream, because I did see that. Alright, so we're back as Midude Gary. I've been thinking of some background uh, story character development for this um, for this character, a, a bit of a background. Today, though, we're going, uh, after a zombie appeared in Baruma Synod Conclave, the chapter head, Cadius, decided that he had to act. He has sent me to Frostcrag Spire, the suspected location of these items' origin, to find whoever is responsible and put a stop to it. We're going to go do that now, I guess. We're still pretty low level. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, but I've got high hopes in our abilities to... Uh, I see Adrian said Swift. His Swiss is holy. Uh, good gag. Uh, overdone, but good gag. On the Sky Factory vid, I might have. I don't know. I haven't checked comments this morning, so uh, also possible I could have missed it. Also possible I could have read it and replied to it. And I just, I'm not sure right now. You know, that's just the way of life. Life does that. So I've decided that for this character, we made some jokes last episode about what this character might be about, what her backstory might be. We weren't sure how she was related to my name is Gary from the Morrowind series, but here's what I've sorted out, okay? Madude Gary here. Also, is that where we're headed up there? That certainly looks like a spire. Madude Gary grew up in a, hold the phone. Let's go back to town and find some like potions or something. We're going to need something to go out on this adventure. We can't just wander out there with our low-level selves and get our behinds handed to us. Have we found a potion shop of some kind? This individual looks intelligent. Pardon me! Hi there. Are you looking for my husband, Ralgar? Where? He's probably out hunting or something. Where does the name Silverplow come uh, an from? Interesting question with an interesting tale to follow. Oh, I don't really want an interesting tale. The names of Nordic clans are Earth, mm, not simply given. Okay, good for you. I'm gonna go find me some potions. So, here's what I've decided. Madude Gary here, this this um this beautiful lass. Uh, if she'll if she'll calm down a bit here, I'll show you her front side. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't, isn't she just the best? She grew up she she is a high elf. She grew up in the Somerset Isles. And uh, all her life, she heard tour stories of her no-good-for-nothing cousin, who was a dark elf, over in Morrowind, tearing up the joint, going on these adventures. And uh, she wanted to go on some adventures herself. Her parents didn't want her to. They wanted to be a proper high elf. And to spite them, when she came of age, I don't know, like 100 years old or something, she left the Somerset Isles and headed to Pro Tamriel Paw proper to find adventure and also marry a human man not because she's particularly interested in human men but she wants to spite her mother so that's the background uh, now for my dude here and uh what do we got is this an inn i'm actually trying to find someone who sells potions wait a minute what happened to that boy remember we found that magic boy who sells items where did he go oh where was he? he's like over here on a bench there he is 
my dude. Well, no, I'm my dude. I'd like to see your unique enchanted items. The first, the second, the third. None of these look like potions. So, which will it be? I was hoping you would have more of a storefront kind of situation. Um, I don't. Do you have? So let me browse your standard inventory. Oh, how pedestrian! Y yeah, he doesn't have potions at all. He's got different spell tomes, though. That could be good. We could definitely use more spells. But do we have any money? We have 601 gold, so we don't really have a whole lot of cash. I don't know how much of this I want to spend. You know what? Let's just roll. Let's just roll. I I'll take my oh chances. My. I'll find some potions out on the street or something. That's how Madude Gary works. Madude Gary is just a bold... What is this? The, the wind... Traders. Oh, Icewind Traders. Okay, sweet. We'll check this out. This might have some potions. Hey, Jessica Lee. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Cheap's Kate. How are you doing? Welcome. Hope you're having a good one. Hmm? Who else has joined here? Reese, I checked the vid and you did not reply to anyone, so I'm pretty sure you didn't see it. That's a safe bet right there, Griefington. Very safe bet. Reese, did you know your title is wrong? This isn't Zelda. <sighs> yeah, that is wrong. You're absolutely correct. I guess I neglected to do that this morning. So normally, when I prepare to send out the morning... Hold on a second. Fire hydrant. Oh, I hate these. Can we all agree that captures are the worst and should be banned? When I wake up every morning to do the live stream, I will prepare the Howdy Folks newsletter, a.k.a. the Banana Peel. And then I will name the stream and everything on Restream before I get started. So I guess we're going to call this one Medude Gary in the Skyrim. Modded. You see? Cool. Boom. Alright, title should be updated. Now, of course, in order to see the updated title, you will need to wait a few seconds and then refresh your browser. So, just keep that in mind. Elder Scrolls. Should auto-populate that for me. It's, it's not. The Elder Scrolls? Five? Really? <sighs> Skyrim? You're going to make me type this out myself? It normally auto-populates. I don't know why it's not. Boom, there we go. I'm sure this is what everyone wants out of their morning live streams. Is to just watch me fill in information about the name of the stream that they're already watching. You know what you're looking at. You don't need me to tell you. Mixer, for some reason, you always have to update like two or three times before it sticks. You know, you can update it and then refresh the page, and it'll go right back and say, It's the Wind Waker! But it's not. This is the third time I'm putting it in there. Update. Refresh. Still says it's the Wind Waker! You, around. you hush. You don't talk to me like that, Cad Sa Sadius, Cadius, whatever your name is. Hmm? Fifth time refreshing the page. Still says it's the Wind Waker. This ah, oh, freaking hate you, Mixer. Why are you Good like afternoon. this? Why are you the special one in the group? Why can't you just take the update and roll with it? Good afternoon. It just still says Wind Waker. Also, YouTube, I have to go to an update independently, which is also annoying. But uh, what have you folks been up to this morning? Mm -hmm. Reese, I thought you were always prepared for everything. Now I get my doubt about it. Listen, <coughs> always what is it? believe that I can mess something up. And uh, you'll never be disappointed. Always believe that I will mess something up. And you will... When things don't get messed up, you'll be, you won't be disappointed. What? Verify this hmm? device? Get out of here. Get out of here now. I don't have time for this this morning. Alright, we're going to try one more time. And if it doesn't Hello. stick, I'm just going to ignore Mixer. So, it, it literally just keeps... Every time I'm refreshing the page, it just goes Welcome back to, to saying it was flying... Traders. If you don't see what you need out here, let me know. Okay. Might have it in the back. I will let you know, my dude. Strike it. You know what? I guess Mixer is just going to say that we're playing Zelda. Good afternoon. Because no matter how many times I put in the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, it's just not taking it. If someone could go to Mixer and confirm how can I help you? what it says, that'd be great. I don't even think... Yes, dearie. Yeah, we're done. Strike you. Hello. Yep, just like with the Zelda stream in the caves. Exactly like that. It's fixing us as Cheapskate. Well, that's good. At least it works on YouTube. That's good. Hey, Gundam, welcome to today's stream. How are you doing? Let's talk to this guy. What have you got for sale? Tell me. If I don't have it, you don't need it. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but okay. 
You do have some potions. You do have some minor healing potions. You're not asking for too much on them, I guess. I'll take them, as well as Magicka potions, maybe? Uh, we don't have any potions of cure disease. Oh my gosh, he wants so much for them, but what if we get bitten by a vampire or something? Alright, we're completely out of cash now. I regret all of my life decisions leading up to this point. Not really, though. As I was saying, my dude Gary here is, uh, is, uh, is basically a runaway from home. I mean, we were adults. We could leave home if we wanted to. But we've left behind a very wealthy family and a lot of, of privilege and opportunity to go explore the world and try to live out the life that our cousin, our distant cousin, our distant dark elf cousin, my, dude, my name is Gary. Uh, we're trying to live out sort of their adventures in our own lives. Of course, my dude... My, my name is Gary is probably still alive because elves live a very long time. Hard to say. Maybe that's what we're trying to do. Maybe in addition to finding and marrying a human male to spite our mother, perhaps we're also trying to find our long-lost uh, Dunmer cousin. Who can say for sure? I almost said Dwimmer. We don't have any Dwimmer cousins. We might. I, they're all gone now. They've all disappeared into the Aether. But I, it seems unlikely, doesn't it? Definitely seems unlikely. We could roll with it, though, if we wanted to. Uh, we could pretty much make up whatever canon we want to for this character, honestly. Did you download the mods? I have not installed any mods since last time. No. Reese, we got a new sofa. Creeping tent. That's exciting. Look at that. Did I do that? I feel like I probably did that. That time that I was running around torching rabbits. That's probably on me, actually. Speaking of which, what do I have equipped right now? I've got flames. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. We're prepared to just burn things. Let's go do it. It'll be awesome. I don't know if we have any better spells. Oh, hi there. How are you two? Self-important idiot. The, who, this guy? I to rescue him from bandits oh, once after he approached yes. them to yes. get into their mindset. You shall be the inspiration for my new character. The, what? The who are vagabond. you? The Vagabond? Excuse me. Who are you calling Vagabond? Else but you, dear traveler. You, who will soon be immortalized. Wait, what? Me. Who is this guy? Perhaps. Okay, yes. you know what? Yes. Who are you, you exactly? Uh, never mind, you know, it's too much of a hassle to talk to you. I'm just gonna keep going. I thought about torching him. Should we torch him? We could torch him. Let's torch him. Let's do a save in case we regret this decision. And then, um, let's burn his fancy pants down. Burn, son! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Cool. Well, he's dead. That's what you get for calling me a vagabond, I guess. Of course, now we're dying because the game feels the need to lock our view onto your dead body long after you've died. What do you, you got anything useful on you? Let's see. He's got a gold necklace and Lusty Argonian Maid Volume 2. I'll take that one. Uh, we'll also take your gold necklace. My beef is not with you, dear lady. My beef is not with you. Listen, you and I, we are both ladies in this strange land. Perhaps we could strike an accord. It does not need to be this way. We, we can... Today you die. I don't intend on dying today. What I do intend on doing is backing away quickly. Look, I understand that this. You have a reputation as a bodyguard that you need to maintain by protecting your honor and making sure that I'm dead. I don't feel like this is necessary. I don't I don't feel like what you're doing right now... You know what, Dad gum you. I'm, you're going to make me kill you, aren't you? Where are my potions at? Need another magic potion. All right. These are la lame. The, the, we've already burnt through all three of our magic potions. This isn't even the actual combat situation we were preparing for. My gosh. Well. Sorry about this, by the way. I mean, I'm not that sorry. Potion of minor magic is sweet. I'm going to need that. Uh, I'll leave you with all of your other items, though. Can we, like, carry her off the road? Let's, let's go put her... Let's go lay her to rest. Now I lay down to rest... I play, pray the Lord thy soul to test. And if thy wake before you fall, I hope the fall will kill you all. Boom. Okay. Well, out of sight, out of mind. We should take care of that other body as well. We don't want to leave him on the road. Because that just raises questions. They'll probably find some other random adventurer to go figure out who murdered this guy. They'll track me down to some dark cave. It'll be a whole hassle. Oh, look at him. Hideous looking, isn't he? Let's, let's go lay him down to rest with her. That kind of makes the most sense to me. Once again, out of sight, out of mind. Probably the best bet there. Reese, if you want to see my dude in this time, get the moon and star mod. What does that do? What is it? What is, my dude? What? What are you talking about? 
going on about? Torch him, yeah. Are oh, you talking about Manam is Gary? He's a different guy. Very different guy. Alright, where did we throw her off of? I'm very lost. I was walking sideways while reading comments, so I don't really know where I am anymore. Let's just put this guy in the river. Take me to the river. That's what I'm doing. Just like in the song. Throw me in the water. That's, again, what I'm doing. Right into the water. Or maybe just right over this edge. Out of sight. <sighs> Out of mind. Cool. Alright, situation dealt with. I think I killed this deer as well. We're not going to worry about that. I've got to find a way over this river here. Um, let's open up the map proper. Take a look around here. That doesn't seem to be a bridge. Here's something that kind of vaguely resembles a bridge. I don't know. The map is a bit broken. because Possibly because I have some map mods installed that aren't strictly uh, compatible with the other mods that we've got installed. Like Bruma, for example. I guess we can just hop across. But I can't get back up that other side. That's a sheer rock wall. This water's going uphill. It's like some kind of magic. Interesting. Very interesting. I think we'll have to run all the way down to kind of the, the base here. To the base. And then make our way, cut across back up the mountain. Kind of. In a sort of way. If you, if you get what I'm saying. Is this hear these sound effects? Got some mad sound effects out here. What is that? It, oh. Okay, I thought it was a jackalope. I was really excited to see a jackalope bounding its way through here. And it turns out it's just a deer. And that is extremely disappointing. I was really hoping for a jackalope. And the only way I'm going to ease my disappointment, I guess, is by... Shrek me sideways! River troll! Oh! River troll out of nowhere! Angry! He's angry! I don't blame him, actually. I did just shoot him with fire. But that's no reason to continue chasing me. Is he continuing to chase me? I don't know what happened to him. Okay, let's just keep going. River trolls? Okay, they're not known for going upstream, right? They're like river trolls, not stream trolls. We're just gonna keep going then. Keep going then. Jump. Ugh. I think we're fine. I think we're good. That was a bit unexpected. Was not prepared for that. Look at this! Third era conclave for helm. Okay. Right on. Should we? <laughs> what is. Well, that was an odd thing to find. Look at that. Where did that go? It's a piece of light armor. How do we look in it if we put it on? Should we, uh. Oh, you know what? That's super popping. That's styling. I'm digging it. Mom would hate it. We're gonna keep it on. Should we go third person for a bit? Just to kind of get a better idea of what's going on over here? See, this is. The problem with this game is trying to climb up mountains is just impossible. How am I expected to get over here anyway? To this area? At the top of this mountain? Aw oh, man, we should have just gone north around the river. And it looks like that's probably the actual path we were supposed to take. As opposed to now, where we're just dealing with a river troll on the side of a mountain that I can't even climb. Ah, oh, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. I don't think we can go any higher than this, though. I think we're... We're more or less stuck here now. <laughs> hey, look, there's a shack over there I didn't check before. You know what's probably not in that shack? A river troll. You know what probably is in that shack? A uh, helpless Nord individual. Ready to die. Should we go and investigate it? We probably should. I'm into that. Let's go investigate. Back into first person we go. This will be easy. Thought you said you got the ordinator. I haven't got it. No, I said I would. And then I forgot. But um, I'll definitely look into it between now and next time. We haven't done any leveling up yet. We did. We do have a. Ah, we do have something we can't. We do have a, a single thing we can't advance if we wanted to. But uh, maybe we'll also just hold on to it. Okay. So the red dot on my map is that still the river troll from far, far away? It might still be. Reese, can you go to your perk menu? Um, I can, but it's just the base vanilla perks. Nothing, nothing new there. It looks like someone had some sort of a fight in here they threw up this table and they propped it up with this why what's going on in here take the bread something weird happened in here oh ooh! i found a what the heck what the shrek me sideways there's crabs down here unexpected very unexpected i think we just leveled up again guys so that's exciting I can't tell what crabs are alive and which ones aren't. Okay, it doesn't look like they've... Hello? Are you alive? 
Oh, my dude. Did you get eaten by crabs? Looks like you did. Is this close worth anything? Not really. Oh, man, what a tragic way to go out. Death by crabs. I feel for you. I feel for you. Do you have any valuables? <sighs> it doesn't really have any valuables. What a way to go. And he didn't even leave anything for a good adventurer like me who would avenge your death. That's lame. Look, if you're going to die and someone's going to come avenge your death, make sure you've at least got something useful around for them to take. How did the mud crabs get down here? These are the questions that haunt my nightmares. Honestly. Good grief. My jaw hurts. Though, so this is what it feels like when you get a tooth pulled out. I guess so, Gundam. I guess it is. Get out of my swamp! Oh, Adrian. Reese Burgers. Are you talking about burgers made of Reese? Why is it so dark? Oh, I can't see anything. Can you guys see anything? I can't see a thing at all. It's way too dark for me. I need to get this monitor situation dealt with. Let's just uh, stay in this guy's house. So what, maybe 6 in the morning? So, good 11 hours sleep. We need good rest anyway. They live down here. Now, the way you want to go death by crabs. Yeah, no, you don't want to go death by crabs. You're absolutely right. I, s I see that you said not, not now. And I read not as now. And I apologize for misrepresenting your words there. Uh, that's definitely on me this time around. Boy, it got dark while we were in there, too. It got real dark real quick when we were in that basement. Did y'all notice that? All right, we're going to push our way through here. I guess we're going to go north around the river like we should have done in the first place. Oh, you're back to visiting your dead friend. That's a dumb idea, dear. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's what you get. We're just creating a little conclave of dead deer back there. More will go and investigate, and more will die. What I'm actually doing is I'm providing a service to the homeless by just leaving all of these dead animals around. Like, I'm not feeding the homeless, but if the homeless know how to skin an animal, like a gray fox, boom, there's your food. Just pick it up. It's already charred, actually. You could eat it. It died by fire. It's just fully prepared. It's cold enough out here that that, that cooked meat is staying. It's staying good for a while, right? Like, it's not going off anytime soon. So you can enjoy all this fresh dead meat. And uh, you can thank me later. I'm feeding the homeless. If this was Houston, I'd be arrested for feeding the homeless without city permission. Because Houston... Okay. Do you guys want me to talk to you about Houston and their their dumb laws? Probably not. Hey, Savage Garen, how you doing? I'm gonna do it anyway. So the city of Houston has banned, basically, charity. You cannot feed the homeless without strict permission from the city, right? Only the city is allowed to feed the homeless. And they claim, as most governments do when they pass stupid laws, that this is to protect the homeless. In reality, Houston's mayor wants to deal with the homeless homelessness problem how do you deal with the homelessness problem well you don't help homeless people what you do is you get homeless people to go away and then you can say look homeless percentage used to be like we used to have like three percent homeless people now we're down to one percent we're dealing with the homelessness problem but what they've actually done is they've just banned you from feeding homeless people they banned homeless people from sleeping in certain areas they basically made life a nightmare for people who are homeless an even worse nightmare than it already was so that all the homeless people who did live in Houston just moved to surrounding areas. So they're now in different cities where they can be fed and helped, etc., etc. So now they all pat each other on the back and they say, look what we've done. We've lowered the percentage of people who are homeless in Houston. But they haven't actually helped anyone become not homeless. They've just had them move somewhere else to become someone else's problem. And they are not going to get called out on it because most people will see that, oh yeah, homeless numbers are down. I guess they did a good job. I guess these laws preventing us from helping the homeless definitely are beneficial, but they're not. It's just, it's, it's terrible. It's absolutely pathetic. Houston, I'm not a big fan of Houston. It's sort of like the armpit of Texas. Um, it's our biggest city. It has a ton of people living there. Just because it's large doesn't mean that it's good kind of a crap shoot and the mayor is an idiot most of the people in the city council are idiots i despise all of them and i hope they all end up homeless and starving with no one to feed them because of their own stupid laws so anyway that's houston houston does suck you're absolutely correct i can't seem to travel this way but dadgummit i'm not going to give up oh yeah our level up is available sweet 
Uh, for a second there, I thought we were leveling up because of our acrobatics, but that's a different game, guys. That's I don't think these sorts of moves are going to get us anywhere in Skyrim. Cool. We're sticking up as high uphill as we can, though, because we've got to reach the top of that spire somehow. We're still not entirely sure how to do that. That's what we've been doing this entire game. Well, no, we've been hunting for the homeless as well, but uh, anyway... Okay, well, we've fallen. That's just what's going to happen here, I suppose. I wish I could sleep for 11 hours. Boy, how good would that be? I haven't had a really good night's sleep in a very long time. Just one of those long, deep sleeps where you wake up and it's 2 in the afternoon and you have no idea how that happens. Man, I missed that. I used to do that in high school. High school were good times. High school, high school were the best times. Hey, look, we made it somehow. Don't ask too many questions. I don't even know. Uh, Savage, glad to hear that. I'm doing pretty well as well. Hey, look, a deer. What do, what do we do with deer? Not today. That's what we say to deer. Okay, we've reached a fork in the road here. We've also reached Dragonclaw Rock. So, Mountain Watch and Baruma. Fascinating. Uh-oh. Should we be prepared? There's something red on the map here. They sound like people. That's... I don't see people. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, they're after me. Why are they after me? I've, I've done nothing to these people. What do you mean you're not going to let me live? Can we talk this out? Hi there. Oh, they're bandits. No, we can't talk this out then. Let's get them next to each other, and then we can torch them both at the same time. Just like that. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Thank you. I will take your lockpicks and your arrows. I don't really use a bow, but it's always good to have some arrows on you. It, it doesn't hurt us. <gasps> a treasure map. Da -da -da. Should we take their steel greatswords? We can sell them, I suppose. Did you also have a greatsword? No, your sword wasn't that great. You had a pickaxe, though. Not interested. Not interested at all. You know what I haven't checked? Is it whether or not we're actually heading to the top? Yeah, we are. Can confirm. The dragons eat the food before the homeless get it. You're the reason the dragons returned, because of easy food access. You're right. The dragons went extinct. They didn't get killed off in some epic war. They went extinct because there's not enough food for them to go around. But now there's a whole bunch of easy food, so the dragon, the dragon population is, uh, it's, it's returning. Well, we actually did. Uh, the old Nords of Skyrim, they used to claim how they dealt with the dragon problem, but all they really did was make it just harder for dragons to survive in Skyrim. So dragons just left and went to surrounding areas. And they were like, look at us, look at our low dragon numbers. And everyone went, yay, and they voted for them again. Because that's how you become a Jarl. You get voted for in Skyrim. Uh, that's, they can't confirm. Now, if you're wondering why I do attack the deer, it's because I think we do still level up if we kill them with our fire. Pretty sure it's just you use your abilities, you get levels, right? Oh! Oh! As a wolf! It's angry! And now it's dead. Is there another one over here? Oh, I'm telling you, if there's like some sort of snow troll up here that's going to eat our face, I'm going to be super salty that we've used up all of our fire on these guys. Okay, we definitely need to expand our, our magic abilities. I'm telling you that much. I almost fell asleep in class today. Myco 5, that is not good. You definitely don't want to be seen napping on the job. Look at this. Oh, this is different. Oh, it looks like he's killed someone. Do we want to deal with this? I've been wondering, when are you going to start playing Fallout 4? Uh, well, you know me. I can't just start playing Fallout 4. I'll have to play Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. So, uh, no, no time soon. Um, it's definitely not on my, my list of games to play in the, in the immediate future. I don't think we can handle this. I don't think we can take on ogres. I'm just gonna keep walking away. Maybe at some other point in the future we'll come back, we'll be bigger, stronger, faster, smarter. In the meantime, can we just get inside of their camp and take their stuff? Do they have stuff in here? Oh, they do! They do! Okay, let's take their gold and their lockpicks. Ha <laughs> ha! Joke's on you, big guys! Take his lockpick as well. Ha <laughs> ha! You're too big! See what it's like to be too big? You can't catch me, suckers! Okay, let's actually run away now. Because I, I am slightly scared of them. I'm a little bit off put. Their sheer size and giant clubs make me nervous. Is this the path up to that spire? I sure hope it is. Because I, I don't know what else to do. The fact that there's ogres guarding the path, though, kind of makes me feel like we're heading into a situation we're not powerful enough to deal with. Um... We're going to push forward, though. We're going to push forward and, and hope for the best. Mountain Watch. Is this Mountain Watch? Oh, Shrek. Okay, let's do a save before we talk to this guy. Hands away. Let's talk to him. Hi there! Okay, listen. No. 
No, no. Now listen. Stop! Stop, 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 stop. This is not necessary. You and I don't have to fight like this. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm all out of I'm all out of fire. So if you could just Right. See, you see, now we're in an awkward situation. I didn't want to kill you. I don't feel like I should have to. I don't know why we can't just be friends, you and I. Maybe it's because I sneak up behind you and do this. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, hold on. Give me just a second. You're just warming up. You sound out of breath and on fire. If I'm honest with you, you don't sound like you're warming up. You sound like you're about to die. Which is exactly what just happened. I've got to sleep off medication. Bye, guys. Goodbye, Gundam. Hope the medication sleeping works out for you. And I hope that your uh, your mouth feels better soon. Cheap wine. Of course, this guy's got cheap wine. Can we take his armor and try to sell it on the open market? I don't have a whole lot of carrying weight. Um, nah, he looks very naked now. I feel a little bit bad about that. Should we head inside this place? I feel like if he was hostile, anyone who's going to be inside of here is also going to be hostile. Oh, we don't even have a key to get in here. Ah! Ah! I am back, boys. Thank you, Vayox. Congratulations on claiming the position of stream boss. Uh, you've wrestled it away from our good mate, uh, Blood Elf. Congratulations and thank you, by the way. Goodness gracious, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? Okay. Did this guy have a key? I don't think he had a key. We took everything off of his person. I don't think that he had a key with him. Okay, he didn't have a key. Well, what do we do in a situation like this? Do we just sneak around till we find one? We can harvest some wormwood. If there's no way in here, I don't guess we need to worry about it. Because this isn't what we're here for. We're here to go inside of some sort of a giant. <laughs> hey, oh, that's my, that was my reaction exactly. You perfectly mimicked my reaction. Yeah, there's no keys out here. Should we just knock? Should we burn down the door? No, nah, we probably shouldn't. Probably not. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what we do need to do. We need to not draw attention to ourselves. So, we're going to take this body. And we're going to promptly move it over this wall here. Yeah. No, that's terrifying, actually. I don't want it like that. I don't want him looking at people as they walk by. Boom. Out of sight, out of mind. And uh, up the hill we go, I guess. Uh, hey oh, uh, What's up with you? I I'm having a good one. I'm just out here killing deer for the homeless. Okay, here's another guy. Oh, this is a Khajiit. Okay, no, this is fine. I used to be a Khajiit in another life. This will be easy. Uh, I've been pretty good, Vehox. How have you been doing? Hi there. The sweetest moon sugar. The most potent moon sugar and skooma you'll find outside elsewhere. Take a look. Okay, so we found ourselves a drug dealer here on the streets. He is selling some skooma and moon sugar. I also have skooma. How much will you give me for my skooma? Can we sell him the skooma? Oh, wait, no, hold on. My skooma. He's only going to give me six for my skooma? Man, that's a ripoff, dude. This one travels a little. Like, no, I'm sorry. Look, you're a drug peddler. You're selling drugs to the kids, and you're overcharging for them as well. So you're, you're. I think we've decided now that we're gonna be skooma peddlers anyway. I think we decided that in the last episode. Um, so I'm just gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna take all of your stuff. I'm gonna take your fine clothes. Now nah, I'm gonna leave your fine clothes on you. But you, you've come into my territory. This is my, this is where I deal skooma. So you're gonna have to go. What are we gonna do with the body? I don't know. Maybe we should just leave it there as sort of like a message. Like, this is what happens to skooma peddlers on my, on my turf. This this is what happens. Can we prop him up against a rock or something? Uh, maybe we should just go out of sight, out of mind. Nah, right here. This is good. Okay, prop him up, right? Come here, you. Stand up. Oh, no, we'll just shove his head into a rock. There we go. Can we pick up his feet? Drag them around his... Ah, you know what? Shrek you. I don't have time for this. We got to go explore a mountaintop. This has taken us forever just to reach this location. Who is he selling skooma to out here? There's no one out here. This is nowhere land. Ugh. Honestly, I don't want to come up here and sell skooma. I should have just left him to it. Um, Hey, devs. I found a problem spot here that you might want to address in the future. I'm not saying that this... I mean, look, this is, a, this is an early release of an unfinished mod. I understand that, but um, this is a bit much for me. It's kind of hard to... This is breaking my immersion just a little bit. Let's get out of the mountain. We don't want to go up that way anyway. We want to find the proper route up. Let's check the map again. 
probably all the way around to the top, I'm guessing. If we had a horse, this would be so much easier. We could just go straight up inside the mountain and be done with it. But we don't have a horse, so we're going to have to work with what God's given us. Two legs, two arms, and the level up that we've yet to take in because we need to install Ordinator. It's something I do plan on doing between now and next time. Now, will that completely ruin our playthrough? Like, is it going to destroy our save file? Possibly. Possibly. But it's fine. Bruma is a beautiful place. We've got so much to explore and see. Oh, look at this. Is this just... Hello? Do I want to know what killed you? Mm, a shrine of Talos. Okay. What happened to these two? Oh, wait, y'all hear that? Ah, this is what happened. Thalmer? Why are there Thalmer soldiers here? This doesn't make any sense. No, I don't want to fight you guys. I am a, I am a high elf. Why would you do this to me? Why? The hardcore mod pack I told you about is officially on curse. Ah, cool. Tell me more about it. All right, so where did those Thalmer come from anyway? You know what? Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Is this the path I said we should follow? Down and around. I guess it is. I'm not sure if this is correct, but let's just keep going. Let's not interact with these guys. Let's just keep moving forward. No Thalmir attacks for us. What have we here? Oh, some ore mine. Here's about that. Probably the Thalmir soldiers. Maybe that's why they're killing everyone over here. Hmm. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Keep on moving. Don't get involved. Keep your head down. Keep pushing forward. This is... We, in any situation that I feel like my dude Gary here gets into, I'm, I'm sure she just asks herself, what would my mom is Gary do? What would cousin my mom is Gary do? And my mom is Gary would just keep moving. So that's what we're going to keep doing. Talos worship is illegal for Thalmer. So that must be a sting operation. Oh, that's clever, Anthony. You're absolutely right. That must be it. Wow. And so I activated it. And then got attacked by Thalmer agents. That's extremely... That's that's clever. It's a it's a honey beehive. What do they call it? A honey pot? That's it. Yeah, honey pot. It's like, oh, look at this. Just a little tallow shrine. Why don't I go give that a poke and a prod? And then the next thing you know, attacked by Thalmer agents. Pretty clever. Pretty clever. Um, but that does, make, that does make me want to just level up and go back to the shrine and then punk them for it. Like, ha-ha! You thought you could get me, but I'm a level 99 honeybee. Sting, sting. I don't think we can get up the mountain in this direction either. I feel like we've just gone around and around and there's no actual way. There's no official real way to get up here. And no matter what we try, we're never going to be able to make it to the top. And we're always going to die. It's in alpha currently. Just search my user, heyo13579, to find it. Basically a hardcore quest pack that revolves around tinkers, guns, and base defense. The longer you play, the harder it gets. Well, that sounds like a good time. I'm pretty engrossed in uh, some other packs at the moment, though. We've still got to wrap up what we're doing in. Ah, you know what? If, you know what feels like it's never going to end? I'll tell you what feels like it's never going to end. Sev Tech Ages. Uh, we're going to have to be making some big strides in that series soon. If I'm ever going to actually finish it as opposed to, you know, hit episode 25 and possibly have Raymond Card come blow it up. That Sky Factory 3 is fun. We, ha we have an end goal in mind with that. Did you folks like yesterday's episode? Did y'all see that we have a, a new person in our Sky Factory world? Someone said it felt a bit Israfelish, and I thought that that was a fantastic compliment, because I love Shadow of Israfel. So compliments like that make me go, yeah boy! Just like that. Like, that's what I said after I read it. There are even roaming zombie hordes that are attracted to light and sound the players make. Well, that sounds terrifying. Like I said, it's an alpha. I'm still making quests for it and fixing bugs. Well, you folks need to go check out this mod pack. It sounds pretty terrifying. And uh, give give our good man here, Heyo, some feedback on it. What's that up there? That looks like a thing up there. Well, I mean, obviously it's a thing. But, I mean, it looks like the sort of thing we'd want to go investigate. Or maybe it's not. Maybe that's just my imagination. Maybe we should not explore and just keep moving up. What is that? No, nah, I don't know. You know what? Let's just... Oh. Okay, they know that we're here, right? Like, we can just... Listen! Doesn't have to be like this! Stop your money or your life. Uh, I'm not giving you anything. 
I feel like I can handle this. Like, I feel like that wasn't even a threat to my person. Wow. Some highway man you turned out to be. This might have been their first day on the job, honestly. They just heard, hey, I've got a good way to make money. You just stand on a mountain road and you try to... Who's going up here? Once again, I have to ask the question, much like the skooma dealer back there. Who is traveling up here that you can rob as a highwayman? I don't get it. Where is the spire? Where the shrek am I supposed to go right now? You know what it is? That's that skooma, a skooma dealer tr gives money to the highwaymen. Or trade skooma with the highwaymen. And the highwaymen steal money to buy more skooma. It's sort of this own little self-sustaining. As long as people keep exploring this area and getting themselves attacked, it's, it's self-sustaining. It's a crooked system, though. It's not good for anyone involved. We've almost at the top of the spire. Thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm just constantly saving. In case we run into a situation like this, where I have to fight a mountain lion. I'm familiar with mountain lions IRL. I live in Texas. We have mountain lions. This is an actual threat to my life. Relatable. This is usually how I deal with them as well. I just shoot fire at their persons and, and run away a bit. Come on, mate. Come on. I'm, I'm dodging. I'm, I'm ducking and dodging. Oh, I'm almost dead, though. We should probably go away. We should probably just run past the mountain lion. Up the hill we go. Do we have any health potions? I didn't want to use my health potions here. Until we got inside of the base. And did the thing we're actually here to do. But it's that or die to a mountain lion at this point. So, I guess I'm picking the lesser of two evils. I guess that's what's happening here. Wow, the mountain lion! We killed each other! What a way to go out. What a death. I, I'm disappointed in myself. Should we try shooting it first? Let's try shooting it first. I guess we'll, we'll second as a bow and arrow here. So let's equip our ancient imperial bow. And uh, we'll see if we can hit this thing a couple of times. It seems to know that we're here. So I don't guess we're going to do any sort of um, stealth damage to it. Okay, you definitely look angry. I can appreciate how angry you are right now, as you have just been shot with a bow and arrow. But why are we even fighting? Why can't you and I just be friends? What are you doing out here? Surely there's not enough prey out here for you either. Surely it's the same situation as the skooma dealer, right? Okay. I feel like we've reached uh, some sort of uh, an agreement where they're going to stay down here, and I'm going to keep going up here with unbound fire, right? Are we good, mate? Are we good, mate? Mate? Boom! Okay, we were good, and then I shrugged it up. That's on me. That's entirely on me. I'm sorry about that, mountain lion friend. Please stop following me. I think we're fine. <laughs> I think we're good now. We're not prepared for this. I think we can fast travel up here now, though, which is good. Because once I give up, we can just come back later. Is there... Ah! I thought we were friends! Why? Why? We're fine. We made it inside. We're safe. Ah! What? What was that? How? You don't know how to open a door. You are a mountain lion. I feel cheated. I feel severely cheated right now. Oh. No, it's followed us in here again. Look, mate. I'm dealing with a mountain lion right now. Oh, wow. Awesome. Thanks for the help there. Something tells me that wasn't help, though. Um, listen. Good, got a potions of healing back. I'm not sure where this is going. It looks like he's just walking up here to talk to me. Oh there, traveler. <sighs> What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? That's a great question. Um, how do we want to approach this situation? Honestly, or do we want to approach it a bit not honestly? Am I centered up on the camera? Okay, there we go. I'm here on behalf of the Synod. Synod? The Synod have no right to this place. This is soon to be a fully-fledged College of Whispers sinusure. Okay, that's fine. I am quite bewildered at this turn of events. I understand. As you can see, I'm here with a College Reclamation team. Sure. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. I can understand that. What are you here for? Look, I'm glad that you've asked. Um, I'm trying to solve a mystery. Mystery? 
What kind of mystery? It's funny you should ask. So, strange items have been appearing in the Conclave. We think it came from here. Well, I can assure you that we are in no way responsible. <coughs> On second thought, I'm not so sure. The only thing I can say is to check with Master Astor Astentius here in the Sinus. Astor Astentius? He might have something to do That's with not a real name. Mystery. You're making this up. He's gonna lure me into like a dark cave. I'm rather busy with my work. Try one of the others around here. Oh, I will. You better believe it. Who am I looking for? What is this? Hmm. Should we poke around a bit? I don't want to steal their stuff, obviously. The last thing I want to do is get in trouble with these guys. I mean, they're with a college, for crying out loud. Never hear the end of it. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Spell tome. Uh, we can read Lives of the Saints, I guess. But it's not going to give us any levels, so why bother? A lot of cool stuff around here. Which we can't steal any of. Oh, a tragedy in black. Hey, our enchanting increase! So that was worthwhile. Always read books, kids. You never know when you might level up. That's that's the moral from today's video. Always read the books. Look at this one. Fundaments of alchemy. Boom, alchemy level. How about that? This is a good call. This was a very good call to come up here. Happy with that decision. Any yes. more interesting books? What is your business here? Uh, you, you already know what my business is. I guess we'll go into the tower. Wait, whoa, whoa, what? A glorious battle. Good day. How can I be of assistance? Um... Hashtag death loop. Yep, I think we're frozen now. What time is it? How long has this been going? 47 minutes? Okay, well, look, these sorts of things are expected when you're playing modded Skyrim. Sometimes the game breaks. Let me just do a bit of a Control-Alt-Delete here and um, see if I can get us back in there. This will only take a moment, my friends. We'll just reload a previous save. Should be fine. Except for the fact that Control-Alt-Delete did not open Task Manager. Why did that? What is going on here? Am I going to have to restart the computer? Shrek, I think I'm going to have to straight up reboot the computer. Yeah, I can't bring up Task Manager. Oh my gosh. What the Shrek is going on? All right, we're just going to straight up do a reboot here. Um. So how are you folks doing? We got to restart anyway. What was our last save? Did we save before or after that giant creature tried to kill us? I can't remember. I feel like we might have done a save just before we went upstairs. Why did we die upstairs? Were we attacked? It sounded like someone was saying good day to me. Before we died. Did I? What? Did I've got no explanation for what's going on here. I thought we had to go upstairs and talk to some guy. He told us to go talk to a guy. I thought, okay, I'll just head up the stairs. It'll be no big deal. We'll get up there. He'll be like, oh, perhaps I have been teleporting magical items around. I don't know. I just found this button. And every time I push this button, something mysterious happens. I don't know. You tell me what happens. Ping, ping, ping. I thought maybe one person died every time I hit the button, but I got another dollar. I don't know. Who knows how this works, you know? Bing, bing, bing. First button you hit, someone dies, but I get a million dollars. Bing. Now I get half a million, but two people die. And it's just a constant circle like that. Shrek, I don't know. You tell me. I, I just some sort of magical box, honestly. I, I didn't know what was happening. You're telling me it's teleporting items around? Well, Shrek me sideways. That's news. But no, what actually happens... I get into this room and they're just like, and die! Maybe I'm the one that they hit. You know what they did? I'll tell you what they did. They hit the button. And uh, let's see. Show all saves. So we've got Frost Crag Spire, the one where I die instantaneously. And then the one where I'm being attacked by a, a cat. I guess we'll have to load back into that one and have that bit of dialogue again real quick. Uh, he hits the button to get a million dollars, and then I die. That's what's happening here. Shrek, are you kidding me? Why? Wow. 
run, 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 run! Help me! Help me! Oh! They summoned that thing. Oh, there! Hi there! What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? I feel like we've had this conversation here behalf of the Synod. Yes, yes, yes. Turn to events. Speak to somebody. What are you here for? Trying to solve a mystery. Yada yada yada. Strange items, etc., etc. Something tells yep. me he might have something to do. Maybe with he does. Let's go ahead and read our level books, our level up books, and then we're gonna figure out what this thing is. What are you? Oh, he's just a scamp. <laughs> was that what he was called? Was he actually called a scamp? There we go. Enchanting. I think that was it. Um, sweet. Okay, we're gonna do a save. No, wait. Why are none of my buttons working? Shrek me. Shrek me. Figured it out. Hold on a second. Uh, it's because. I have a custom setup that. What? Stop it. Bring up task manager. No, 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 no. Stop it. Good grief. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix this. I got to open up my Synapse application, which is not opening. I want to point out there. Frustratingly enough, nothing is working right now. So all of my custom button presets are broken because the Synapse isn't loaded. Uh, oh, this is such a nightmare. This is such a darn nightmare. I don't even know what the default buttons are. So I don't think I can play the game without having all of my presets. I didn't, I, I never have to open the app. It normally just loads up my presets by default. Shrek, it's not working. Okay, you know what? We'll deal with it. What the heck was that? Did y'all hear that sound effect? One of the buttons has turned blue. What? It's opening synapse now, but it also looks like it's just frozen on there. Heyo, is it just me and you? I went to Frostcrack to find out what was going on. Instead, I got frustrated because it's all gone wrong. Mad wizard who could help me, help me along the way. But instead, all he did was ruin my otherwise nice day. There's a weird goblin creature here at Frostcrag Spire. I'm going to burn it with my holy fire. Hold on, it looks like, oh, okay. Razor Synapse is loaded. All right, good. Can I go back into my game now? Also, sorry about this, guys. Let me turn this back on. There you go. Are you joking me right now? What is happening? What even? What? Look at this. Look at what I'm looking at right now. Get out of here. Save. <sighs> Acid trip. That must be how it's happening here. I'll look at... Get out of here! Shut up! Java updates. Good grief. 
I'm not angry. What? What is this? What's why? We found our place now. We found our center. Let's let's remain calm here. Let's uh that's what I was trying to do before. Open up magic. Open up healing. No, 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 no. That's fire. Let's not do that. Everyone seems pretty chill right now. So we're gonna do a quick save. We're gonna go into the tower. Wait, I've done nothing! I have done nothing! So if I go up here, I die. What does the game want me to do? What is what is my next? Let's see. Investigate Frost Crack Spire. Well, that's that's what I did, and I feel like I did a pretty good job of it. What about you? What can you tell me? Nice mask. Yes, it is supplied by our colleagues in Water's Edge. Interesting. We may be practitioners of necromancy, but that does not mean we have to stand the intolerable stench which comes with its study. Interesting. It certainly has prevented a fair bit of fainting on my end. Not that I would actually faint, mind you. Just an expression. That's an odd expression. That means nothing. What are you working on? Cataloging. You don't need to know the details. Oh, okay. The College of Whispers would not be named as such if we continually blurted out our findings to passerby. Fair enough. Fair enough. You do actually. You seem on edge. Yes, nope. It nope. 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 Stop it. In Water's edge. Mm -hmm. Afternoon. You seem on edge. Do I? Well, maybe it's because I have my hands full trying to help establish a sinusure atop an oversized frozen rock. Do you think that has anything to do with it? No. Then you wanderers are as blind as I thought. <laughs> I don't need your ignorance trying my patience. Oh, uh, make sure you have your weapons and spells out. Right, yeah, no weapons and spells out. That makes sense. Okay. Excuse me. Weapons and spells aside. Doing a quick save. Hopping back through here. Can we all agree that my potions are put away? Well, who did you tell me to talk to? This territory belongs to the College of Whispers. What brings you to the top of this frigid Can I join? <laughs> we are an organization oh, okay. devoted to the study of magic in all of its forms. Unlike those close-minded synod mages over in Bruma, we hey, Thomas, welcome to the stream. Simply out of ignorance and fear. Necromancy and conjuration are as much schools of magic as restoration and illusion, whether the public approves of them or not. Okay, listen, can I join the college? Your enthusiasm. <sighs> In our current state, Frostcrag Spire is still not officially recognized as a proper signature. Okay, do I need to like join them in order to go upstairs and continue this quest? Because if I go upstairs right now, I'm just gonna die. You may wish to check back at a later date. Once the Imperial Council acknowledges our request, we can always use the members. Okay, why don't you just accept me now? I don't need to know what a signature is. Else. Do you need any help? Hmm. Well, since you asked. Possibly. Okay, this is going to get us going. I need someone to fix a mistake a member of my team decided to disrupt our busy schedule with. Okay, I can do that. Unfortunately, none of us has had the time to tend to it as of yet. What say you? I say, okay, what is it? Much appreciated. You see, during one of my more <laughs> eccentric members early conjuration oh no she made an error in judgment and attempted a conjuration spell which was beyond her capability listen you should know that i'm not particularly skilled at successfully summon a scamp the binding process was flawed and now the spawn is running wild through the channels okay yeah i can see where is this creature Last we saw it was headed south toward bold man's respite okay and when you find it, return it to oblivion for me. Now go and try not to die. We can do that. Maybe if we do this for him, we'll come back and uh, he won't. They'll let us go upstairs, right? That's all I want to do. I just want to go upstairs and talk to some people. I don't feel like I should be attacked for that. I, I don't think I'm asking too much for this. Uh, let's check the map. 
So they headed straight south toward Old Man's Respite? What is that? I don't see anything here called... Maybe that place must be it, yeah. Alright, I guess we'll just head back down the way we came. Head straight south. Oh, there is actually a mark in the map for a different quest. What do y'all reckon we... Kill the scamp. There we go. It, we'll turn that one on. We'll turn this one off. There we go. That'll point us in the right direction at least. I keep thinking we have a mountain lion out here to deal with, but someone else has killed it for me. So we're, we're good to go there. Uh, which is nice. A good change of pace. Oh my goodness. Uh, we need to end the stream pretty soon because I got to get ready for work. So I say what we do is we head straight down the mountainside. We find and kill this scamp. And then uh, I'll head out. Uh, well, I do kind of want to, if we can kill this camp easily and quickly, I do want to head back and check and see if we can go upstairs now. I don't know. Is this on Twitch as well? It is, Thomas. Yes, indeed. It certainly is. I don't think anything... Oh, there's a couple people watching on Twitch. We have a couple of Twitch viewers. Are they making comments that I can't see? Because occasionally I'll miss the Twitch comments, even though they pop up on screen. Where is this little dude? Oh, you don't reckon he's come to this shack, do you? Oh, no. What if he came down here and, like, killed the residents and whatever? That would be so terrible. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's the case. Look at this. Yep. Hunter is dead, and I definitely didn't kill them. We'll take their brass ring and their, their gold. And their arrows. Anything else here they got? Raw rabbit, venison wolf pelt. Anything here of value is what I'm actually looking for. Some brandy. Restores 20 points of stamina. Hey! I'm a fan of that. I'll take that. I didn't read the rest of the side effects, but uh, Shrek, he's going to be in here, isn't he? All right. Maybe we can talk to him. Maybe we can have a conversation with him. Oh, he looks pretty angry, doesn't he? He's not doing that much damage. Oh, but we're not doing that much damage to him either. Oh, who is this other dead person in here? Right. So he's just inside of here and we're going to have to go fight him. Fair enough. Did, that didn't save us inside the shack. Oh, it did. Hi there, stunted scamp. How are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't have the right po- Ah, oh, I see what's going on. I'm trying to double cast, but I've got two different spells equipped. It's fine. Now we know that we just spawn in behind him. He killed the dog? What's wrong with this thing? Okay, Shrek. So that didn't end well at all. That time we spawned in and he definitely knew we were there. If he follows us outside, though, that's good. Because that'll be at least easier to kill him. So do we want to do Unbound Fire on both hands? Oh, he's not going to follow us outside. Because of course he isn't. Why would he do that? That'd be too convenient for us. Alright. Let's get in there. Let's deal with the problem. Uh, weapons out. Let's take him down. Ah! Uh, it's not- uh, He gets like several seconds of attack on us before I'm able to even respond. Right? Because when you spawn into a room... <clears throat> great. Just great. When you spawn into a room, there's a couple seconds where you're stuck in place. And he's just torching us when that happens. We cannot compete with that. We cannot compete with that. What am I expected to do? I can't fight him in that situation. We're n we just can't fight him like that. Alright, I'll tell you what we're going to do for right now. We're going to load up healing. And uh, we're going to heal up some. What are my other options? I mean, we've made a magic character. But we've got to have some weapons that we can use to beat this thing over the head with. What do I have? I've got an iron sword. Do I have any... Ability to fight with an iron sword. I can give it a red hot go. Should we heat you? Well, let's keep healing on one hand And we're gonna bash this thing in the head with the sword All right, look at this see see where this gets you you stunted scamp fight me fight me with your bare hands You stunted slime. Oh, this is actually a lot easier. Yep. There he goes Rip in peace son rip in peace. I'm not taking your scamp skin. I will however search the hunter for stuff should I get a 4K monitor or 64 gigabytes of RAM? Depends on what you're doing. I'd say a 4K monitor would probably be more useful than 64 gigs of RAM if you don't use a lot of RAM already. RAM, keep in mind, will not make your computer faster. Uh, contrary to popular belief, it, if you're multitasking, it'll make all of your apps run more smoothly in a multitasking environment. But if you aren't multitasking and you're not currently having RAM limit issues, I mean, if all you're doing is gaming or, or some video work, 16 gigs of RAM is fine. I've got 32 gigs of RAM in my editing computer. I never use that. Well, well, if I have a particularly large project I'm working on, you know, over an hour or so long, it starts to eat up RAM to keep all those files loaded where I can actually 
uh, use them without any kind of slowdowns. But in gaming, I, I hardly use any. And in fact, inside of the capture PC, uh, what button would I push for that? Let's see. Let's. Um, this could be a fun little experiment. Let me open up Task Manager while we're in the middle of a stream. And uh, so on the capture PC, if we go to performance, memory, we have 32 gigs of RAM in the capture PC, and we're using 6.6 .6 gigs of RAM. Uh, so it says that that's somewhere between, it's bouncing around. I'm looking at utilization right now. We're at 35%. So that's where 32 gigs of RAM gets you. I have three monitors for one TV, one for gaming, and one for peripherals. I also do 3D modeling on occasion. So for 3D modeling, yeah, RAM would definitely come in handy. But RAM doesn't really factor into your monitors at all, except for your video memory. But you can upgrade that. Okay, yeah. Let's fast travel to Frost Craig. Now that we can fast travel, we're just going to do that all the time. Uh, your computer won't use RAM to keep monitors loaded, only VRAM built into your GPUs. I mean, unless you have integrated graphics on a CPU, that's a different issue. But um, the only other way to kind of increase memory there would be to get a new graphics card. But I wouldn't do that because apparently there's new ones coming out soon anyway, although people have been saying that for the last uh, year. Yes. What is your business? I killed the scamp. Yes, I already know. I asked a little friend of ours to watch over you and make sure you followed through. Well, that's creepy. Well done. That's terrifying. Here's some gold. Now... If you'll excuse me. So are we friends now, dude? I think we're friends now. Should we read this tome? Oh, wait. No, I didn't mean to steal it. It doesn't look like he met. He noticed. Did we just steal a spell tome and get away with it? Oh, good what are you doing here again? We are here performing important research for the College of Wisdom. 1050 SSC? I have a 1050. I don't think it's a TI. And I've got it hooked up to two 1080p monitors here on either side. So on this one over here, where I'm looking at right now, I've got my stream preview as well as my Patreon page. And this one over here, I have got the tips as well as the chat. And then on the big one up here, this is a 1440p monitor, and that's where I've got OBS running. So 1050, the TI would probably be better, but 1050 is, is plenty for just running the screens as long as you're not pushing like heavy gaming to them. I think you're probably fine. Um... 4K monitor, though, depends on what you're doing. 1050 can drive a 4K display, but if you start to throw a lot of stuff up there, I don't know if it's going to be able to handle that resolution. Um, how, many, how much RAM do you have already? So, he just told me what they're doing here, but I wasn't really listening. Goodbye. Sweet. Thank you. Well, we came, we saw, we chatted a bit. Can I now go up this spire without being attacked? Maybe I can. Let's find out. Oh, okay. Listen, guys, stop. This is unnecessary. Why? Let's try again. <laughs> you have eight? I'd say maybe upgrade to 16. But, um... I don't, I don't, I, I can't really think of a, of a workload situation where 64 would be super beneficial. Listen, guys. Ugh. Why are they attacking me when I go up there? What am I supposed to do here? I don't think there's anything I can do here. I've, I've pretty much exhausted all of my options with this guy. He's not going to give me anything else to talk about. The other guy that was here a few seconds ago is now gone. I don't know what happened to him. But he's not here anymore. I can't go upstairs. I've just, I've reached a dead end on this quest. There's nothing more I can do. Is there, are they attacking me for a reason? Do I perhaps have some sort of uh, active effect on me that I didn't know about? Am I cursed? Um, Doesn't appear like I do. Shrek, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. I think we're just going to have to call it here. We'll come back and we'll figure this out next time. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what the problem is. What am I doing here? I have to, we need you to verify your account. Let me do this account verification thing real quick. Um, I haven't gotten any emails. Well, never mind then. Folks. Oh, well, this is awkward. Don't panic, folks. We should be right back. He is either greeting a family member or someone else at the door, getting something out of the oven to prevent it from burning, or taking a poo on the toilet, where most people will take poos. In the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy this fantastic music.
Thank you so much for joining us during this live stream. If you enjoyed it, please share it with a friend or loved one. They'll enjoy it as well, and thank you are really cool for watching it. Also, big thanks to our patron supporters. Check out the link in the description or head to patreon.com slash howdyfolks to find out how you can become a patron or executive producer. Until next time, thank you folks for watching, God bless you, and we'll see you later.